now come back if you want to change any data you can go to xk02 see now you can see all the details are available that's why this is the purchasing organization data this is the company code data and this is general data if you want to change only address we can select that address which you want to change and you want to change address and also in purchasing you want to add something other just enter see here what you want to add extra maybe you can want to add one more thing out. manufacturing plant hmm? something you want to add just enter then it will take you to the purchasing data because we have selected only two fields right in salesperson we can give Ganesh phone number we can give something okay then enter save it now data is saved the next k03 display display will be easy what uh, if you want to see all if you can select that all just go to here just it's a display of the data just click on enter exit yes and this is xk04 is for changes means if you want to see what are the changes happened for your vendor we can use this vendor you can give the vendor number and company code and purchasing organization just enter it will show you the what are the changes happen just now we have very changed the data right uh, that will be visible now see responsible person I have changed and name to I have changed you just double click on that see responsible person the sales person I have kept as a new Ganesh vendors telephone number this number I have given right it is giving that details and uh, in our uh, SAP we don't have a deletion for example if you want to delete it completely we cannot delete from the system or uh, there is a marking process and all are there but we can keep the deletion flag if you keep the deletion flag what will happen um, this vendor cannot be used for any transactions whether for procurement or sales or any activity we cannot use this vendor so this is the xk06 see flag for deletion if you just click on that you give that vendor. here we can see like you want to delete this vendor only for your company code for all company codes that we can decide here like for example select company code means for this company code it will be deleted select purchasing organization means for this purchasing organization will be deleted all areas means it will be deleted for all okay this is the deletion functionality uh, if you want to delete an vendor then you can have this uh, deletion functionality we can utilize okay now we are what we have left this conference will now be recorded thanks for watching my video and uh, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel you can click on this subscribe button you will see at the bottom of the video and uh, click on subscribe button and uh, if you click on this bell icon you can give all so whenever I upload a new video, you will get the notification immediately so that you don't have to miss any of my new videos. And uh, see, once you watch the video, if you really like the video and the content is helpful for your learning, don't forget to click on the like button. That will encourage to the YouTuber, not only myself, any videos. You may watch some ABAP videos, you may watch some s hana videos, any kind of videos in the YouTube. You just hit a like it takes one second of your time but it helps a lot to the person and uh, you can uh, use this share button you can use the share button to share with uh, telegram or facebook or any kind of uh, social networks and uh, if you see this, this uh, description in the description 
you can uh, check my different playlists okay i mentioned all the purchasing inventory management discussion wm videos so you can use this uh, playlist to check my videos and you can uh, update your skills thanks for your time all the best for your future endeavors